Welcome today. We're playing some potion craft. This game's in early access. And we're gonna check it out together and see what it's all about. Let's cue. You're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you finally found a place to ply your trade. You found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the, the alchemy equipment and garden, former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggests that it has been empty for a long time. You decided to turn the house into a potion shop. Uh, naturally. <laughs> After several days of cleaning and prep preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in a new town. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water looms from your inventory and throw them in the cauldron. To move the ingredients, click the, and hold the mouse button, drag them to the cauldron, and let go. Pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall. It shows you the, the path the ingredients create once you at once added to the cauldron. Okay. Interesting. After adding the ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use a spoon to stir. Click and hold the mouse and move it back and forth to the position. Stirring allows to collect experience points. Any experience uh, lets you level up, but has no effect on the current potion. So mixing, mixing, mixing. Uh, one dream, ring the tile of the stream. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. Find out what the effect does. Um, you need to add it to the current potion. To add the effect to the potion, you need to boil, bring it to the water cauldron. To the water, bring the water to the cauldron to a boil. Use the bellows to blow the, on the coals and heat the cauldron uh, to the desired temperature. Take the bellows handle and continue blowing on the coals where, uh, until there's an explosion over the cauldron. Boom. Finishing a potion. Perfect. You've added a new effect to the potion, healing. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. Grinding ingredients. A mortar and pedestal are the alchemy's best friend. Uh, alchemist's best friend. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredient and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create the same potion using just one try and one water bloom. Take Terraria from your inventory, place it in the mortar, and grind it up with the pestle until it turns to mush. The more you grind the ingredient, the longer the path the ingredient will, will make on the alchemy map once it is added to the cauldron. So, crush, 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 crush. Add ground Terraria to the cauldron. Grind, 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 grind. Add the ground water bloom to the cone. Let's see. Uh, stir using the spoon again. Oops. Get it there. Uh, saving potion. Actually, you made the very same potion, but you used half as many ingredients. Your first potion attempt won't always be the most optimal, so experiment and perfect it. If you're happy with the potion you made, save in the recipe book. Then you can make the potion in the future with the click of a button. Save the recipe your current position potion, click save button to save it. Nice done, you save the recipe, now finish making the potion. Moving between rooms. You're the owner of the potion shop, and your task is not only to brew customers, but also to uh, sell them to customers. Customers arrive, go to the shop. Moving between rooms, use the navigation button to the edge of the, each room. Um, the, the WASD keys or the arrow keys. Go to the shop and click the navigation button on the left. To go there. Every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will stop in to buy various magical potions. Jobs to brew potion laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose. But it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions on hand just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it'll be clear from their reaction. Offer a potion on sale. Take from inventory on the right side of the scale. Good afternoon. Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Now I can't taste a thing, and I'm a brewer. I need to be able to check the quality of a product. My tongue is useless now. Do you have a healing tincture for, of any kind? Yes. 
The amount of gold you receive from selling a potion is shown in the sell button. Click sell button to sell the potion. Uh, I'll buy this potion, but I won't pay very much. What? I have great potions, sir. The customer needs this kind of potion. Offer the potion uh, for sale by placing on the scale. Husband's ill for some time, but recently he got even worse. He can't even get up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? Yes. To make even more money in potion, you can try haggling. Successfully haggling could significantly increase the price of a potion. Unsuccessful haggling could do the opposite. Make a drop. Start haggling. Uh, press haggle the arrows inside the golden bonus areas to prove the terms of the deal. Hitting the bonus areas... Um, Tips the scale in your favor, but missing them does the opposite. The scale also gradually tip out of uh, your favor once haggling begins. Bonus areas will shrink and get harder to hit each time, so don't haggle for too long. Uh, to end the haggling, set the terms of the deal. Get on the arrows. Uh, get the arrow and one of the green bonuses on the sides. Oops. Uh, sell for nine bucks. Okay. Black suitable potion. You also, have, uh, you will often not have ready-made potions for certain customers. It's okay. You can always go back to the laboratory and make the potion they need. There's no time limit, so you can focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. Good. Hello, mice have infested my hut. Even though I have a cat, the cat just lies in the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever they please. So I need a vial of rat poison. It'd be easier to poison those rodents than wait for the stupid cat's help. That sounds like a typical cat. A fat house cat, don't he doesn't care anymore. Just like, eh, whatever. Job for a potion, place it on the scale. Now well, let's go back and brew you a potion. Go to the garden, gather the ingredients for the potion. Tantric Garden is one of the alchemist's main sources for ingredients. Every day new ingredients will grow from the garden. Don't forget to pick them from time to time. Click the ingredients, gather them, collect one trari and one fireball. A laboratory to brew another potion. Customer needs a poison, I mean you need to have create a potion with a poison effect. You have to look for the most uh, the effects on your own throughout the map, but you can remember your alchemy lessons. And such potion be made from one trari and one fireball. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then let's do fire bell. Now we stir. Stirring. And now we boil. Finish making, oh, poison. I'll save the recipe. Finish the potion. Return to the shop and sell the potion to the customer. Hello. Oh, here you go. I shall haggle. I don't think it's going to go any higher. <laughs> it's okay. 14, all that for two extra gold. Woo! Oh, by the way, we added uh, Dan Lurk today as our Halloween emote of the day for Horror Month. So check it out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. I'll sell for 14 gold. Once the last customer in the shop, you can have the rest, uh, have resting bedroom located above the laboratory. Go to the but, but, but lab to end the day. End the day, click on the bed to confirm you want to end the day. Uh, excellent. You'll have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiar sight. Familiarize yourself with the alchemy uh, equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you will find ingredient lists and a ladle for water. This is your potion shop now. Decide what to do next. Your customers, chat, sell potions, haggle. Don't forget to subscribe to Twitch Prime. I mean, just don't forget to gather greens from the Enchanted Garden. Grab to explore the alchemy map. Good luck. Okay. Let's pick ingredients. 
Do I ever get to choose what I want? All right, um... You would like a healing potion. Okay, I can do healing. It was... Hmm. Recipe book. We did a weak potion healing, which was Terraria and Water Bloom. Let's see. Terraria and Water Bloom. Alright, so let's do Water Bloom. Let's do two of those. Try doubling up the potion, see what we get. Terrarias. And see if we can get uh, an even stronger potion. Ooh, what is that? Uh oh, what? Potion failed. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Um. that again and then start going down and then over again okay and then let's see where that go takes us Starts going up. That's a zigzag pattern. Well, let's see what's down that way, I guess. Oh, no. Oh. You can move it towards the center. Same, same healing potion, but that was all very expensive. Here you go, sir. I'm gonna haggle. Naked lady, what? I got one extra penny. Oh, great. Um, trope. Invasive beasts. We need to poison them all. Okay. We need a poison potion. Well, let's do weak poison again. Brew one of those. Here you go, sir. And give me more money. Naked lady. Meet the Bible. Thirteen. Um, do you have anything for a troubled gut? Maybe a healing potion will be fine. Let's see if doing a healing potion helps at all. Let's do another healing. The Alchemist Path. Buy something from Merchant, learn a new talent, finish the chapter. Manual, available in later version of the game. Oh, levels, here we go. Increase your visibility radius on the Alchemist Map after you allow you to harvest new areas faster. Additional bonuses appear on the Alchemist Map to give experience when collected green books. 
Bonuses appear in random locations. They're updated every day. Trading. Trading skill. Uh, the more proposed prices that are more profitable. Let's do radius. Bonus experience sounds important. And then more profitable potions. Let's see. I don't think so, Poison Virus. It's just a shirt from Target. Alright, let's see. Let's go. We'll make him a healing potion because he wants one. So let's do that first. And let's haggle, sir. Go twelve bucks. Thank you. Um. Oh, do you say anything besides? Uh, are you an alchemist? I'm a local herbalist. I gather plants and sell them. I uh, want to see what I have for sale. Think I have something special, something that might interest you. Anything that sells besides herbs? I only sell what I know about: flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruits. You can buy other things from the other merchants. She has firebell tangleweed. I don't have much money, but I don't have a tangleweed. I'll take one of those. And I will also haggle with you for less money. I will pay even less because I never pay full price. 27, okay. Thank you. I need a strong and fast-acting poison. Poison, huh? A strong poison. Well, let's see if we can find a poison. Poison's probably in this area over here somewhere. Let's grind up over this way. Oops. I meant to put that in there. Oopsie. Apparently I just went poof. Leanstein with the Prime Gaming Sub! Woo! Hell yeah. Thank you for subbing right before Horror Month. Enjoy the emotes. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Go over a little bit further. What's over there? Unlocked a new effect, fire! I'll save the recipe. More visual radius, please. Okay, fire is not poison, though. We gotta find us a fire potion. The closer you get to the center, the better the, uh, the tier. So I can, really, so if you get like right on the center, it's exactly what you need. Finish potion. All right, let's go ahead and grind. Oops, almost did it again. I 
don't know. Okay, well, we still made our poison potion, but it's okay. I wonder if you could mix and match of these things. Like, get one effect and then add another two. I'm very curious as to what's over on this potion over here. We need to go... That's a twirly whirly. Grind, 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 grind. And then we see the little bit higher. Let's see. Well, actually, I think it's a little bit lower. Be even better. Get up. Oh, that's not going to work. Nope. Scrap it. Scrap the potion. Literal garbage. Okay, let's go down one. Then use this tingleweed. And then use this. And then we mix. Yep, our uh, Hormon t-shirt, hoodie, um, keychain stuff will be launching on the first. Tier two. Frost. So getting it right on the money is important. So if we can get it Right in the center there. But unfortunately, this needs to be a tiny, tiny bit longer. They'll make it. It's fine, though. It just needs a little bit more. So it's like the more cent centered the potion, the better the potion becomes. Yeah. Okay. Water always moves it straight back to the center. So we could try to go over here, then go back, but that's a little bit tough. A uh, poison? Well, I got this poison. You're gonna pay a lot, sir, because I'm going to Hagali you. <laughs> there, you got Hagalied. He's not happy. He went down. He was not happy about that. 
Hello, I was summoned to deal with an ice elemental tormenting my village. I don't have any sword is useless against elementals, but if you give me a fire potion, I'll kill my blade with it and take that elemental down. I have a fire potion. Yes. Hello, sir. We shall hagili. Dan's playing a new game yet? It's uh, this is an early access game. It's not done yet. What a coincidence! Command sent me to find an elemental too, but the, but it's this one's a fire elemental. He's gotten into the habit of strolling through the wheat fields lately and starting fires. Do you have anything that can cool him down? How about a frost potion? Ooh. All right, sir. Ladies, ladies, meet. Sky, sky, Bible, meet, ladies. 32 bucks, thank you. Popularity level. Okay. I think we might be done for the day. There's no more customers. Now we sweep. Go to sleep. I know when they're hagging, they look like Dan W a little bit. Like, What's going on over there? What's happening, bruh? I need to see if my phone is here yet. My iPhone's being shipped. I need updates. Indiana? That's not where I'm at. Alchemist Path. Cra create a potion of light. Ooh, let's gather stuff from our garden. Ooh, how many fancy ingredients? A potion of light. Let's see. Can we go north? Straight west. And then one more little bit west. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Now, one little notch of water. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Tier three potion. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Nailed it. Alchemy. That doesn't mean anything, but alchemy, oh yeah. All right, let's see. Let's figure out how we can get the green mushroom. We do green mushroom over here, right? And then, then a little terraria. And we mix. Mix slowly now, slowly. Oh, so slowly. Ah, so close. Mm -hmm. 
Potion of healing, strong potion of light, weak potion of healing. <laughs> and then let's see if we can get over... Maybe doing Terraria down here. Like that, and then... Just a wee bit more. Why is he making potions? The same way everyone makes, reason everyone makes potions. Money. Well, that's not super efficient, but it works. Money makes the world go round. Kynamite wire knots with the resubs. Woo! Thank you very much. I love it. And Miter Carlo, thank you for that resub as well. And Sir FB with the brand new Prime Gaming sub. Dechino with the resub. And then Leanstein also with the resub. Appreciate that, guys. I uh, went to lake in the forest, cast my line up, immediately got a bite, built in and tried to get it off the hook, but that fish had some teeth that bit me on the palm and flopped back in the water. Now my hand is all swung. Can I fit? Can I? How can I fish now? Well, what about a potion of healing, sir? Ooh, he's very happy with that. This potion will do, but I pay more for something higher grade. Bucks, thank you. Finished digging up stumps in my fields, planning to burn them to, to fertilize the soil with ash. But then as luck would have it, it started to rain today. All the stumps got soaked. I need to plow these fields this week. Help me out. Um, do you want a potion of light? New? No. Sorry, I'm just kidding. It was a joke. That? No. Want some poison? Nope. Okay. Sorry. I was just joking. After so many cares and worries every day, I wash, cook, shop, and look after children, but I can spend all day on my feet and not sit down once. Because my feet are covered in calluses and corns. Perhaps you could have a remedy for them? How about a potion of healing? I'll get the corns off your feet. Mmm, so sexy. Talk about corns on feet. And warts. Mmm, so delicious. I'll do a lot of stuff for two gold. Um, it's nice to see new faces in these parts. I suppose you're the new alchemist. Wonderful. I'm the local mushroomer. You're an alchemist with the quality ingredients. Where would you see them? I have a few mushrooms here. We take a look. You saw anything besides mushrooms? Nope, only mushrooms, but I have the best. Well, price is low on the green mushrooms. I'll stock up on those. I'll stock up on things that are on sale. All right, now let's haggle you down, sir. Gonna haggle you all the way down because I'm a pretty lady. I'm a pretty man. Or which which do you want? I got potions for either. <laughs> I'll pay 193. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, go to the basement. There's a basement. What? The alchemy machine is badly damaged. Find a merchant who can sell you parts for a new alchemy machine. Oh my. How does haggling work? It's like... Oh, so you only have one Prime Gaming sub. Well, if you give that to me, I'll give you 60 emotes. How about that? No, no! If you give it to me, I'll give you 60 emotes and a smile. 
a tagline. It's trying to bring the price down or get a better deal. Uh, Lex Lena, thank you for the five month resub. It says happy subversary. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Let's see. I see fire potions. Ooh, there's a potion up that way. These potions are good at going down. So is there something that would get me... Hmm. Way to the right and then down? Potions go up. The wind blooms do. But, hmm. I could try like this. Let me put in here. Uh, increased chance of spawning. The bonus experience spawning. Then we need to bypass that over there with either a left or a right. Something about there. Add the raw one in. No, a little bit. Oh, no. Well, I could bring it back a little. fine there. Just hover around the, the skulls, but not actually touch them just yet. Uh-oh. Nope. Potion failed. Okay. That's a toughie over there. Maybe the other way is better. Oops, don't throw it on the... It's, it, the potion's fine. I wonder if that's a hazard right there or not. Oh, it rotates if, if you heat it up. Now, can I go left? And then... Okay, so in like this. Careful, careful, careful. Just a little bit of water. Tier three. Ooh, yeah. Unlock lightning. Hell, I got lightning in a bottle, literally. Hmm. Let's see what that other potion is over there. Right. Then right again. Don't 
room's exactly above where we stopped, so let's do that. And then one more. Put it right there, and then it will, we can lower it with some uh, water. All right, let's see. Okay, now careful, careful. Now we thin it out a little. Oh, darn, it's gonna. Well, it's the best we're gonna be able to do for now. Mana potion. Ooh. Potion of mana. Uh, a very strange guest came to hotel. It says he has a great fear of fire and even refused to use candles. However, he still demands light in his room. Do you have anything that can replace candles? Yes, I have a potion of light. Because, yeah. He's afraid of candles. But a magic potion of light, I'm sure that's better. 46, thank you. That's so weird. Reputation minus one. Three robbers attacked me yesterday. They wanted my money, but couldn't find me, so they gave me a good beating instead. But I uh, have, uh, but I did have money on me. I just hid it in a safe place. Though now I had to spend the money on a healing potion. My body, my whole body aches. You like a healing potion? Well, let me um get you a healing potion, sir. See if I can get you a good healing potion. That one's like almost there. That green mushroom. I think one more mushroom mixed all the way and then a little bit of water to knock it into place will get us a tier three. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> There's no space for new recipes. What? Space for new recipes. I need more spaces for my recipes. Damn it. Like, what? <laughs> There's no upgrade for recipes? Like, so strong potion of healing. Weak potion of healing is easy to get. Weak potion of poisoning. So I need to upgrade my book. That's not cool. Alright, here's a strong potion of healing, sir. But we have to haggle because I need every penny I can get. Julie's emotes are amazing. Yes, she does a fantastic job. We're going to have really good horror emotes all month long for Horror Month. You, the Alchemist Path Chapter 1 completed. Good job. Completed the chapter with each new chapter, new visitors, order types, potion bases, merchants, uh, Dan Lurks, and purchasable items appear. Continue to complete the goals of the Alchemist Path to unlock the full punch of your alchemy equipment and learn the secrets of the trade. Why, hello! I heard there was a new alchemist in town, so I came to say hi. I'm the local sorceress. Or witch, if you like. That's what the locals call me. Anyway, I didn't co just come in out of curiosity. Do you happen to carry poison in your shop? Why would a witch need poison? Sometimes our witch recipes call for poison and human blood. 
but I'll get that myself. <laughs> Alright. You want some poison. Okay. She just wants some poison, Chad. I'm sure it's for legitimate reasons. Definitely nothing evil happening here. Completely legit. these weird shrooms here. Just like that. And then you start to mix. Well, I have super strong poison. This could knock. This is uh, some horse dewormer. It will clean you out. But only if you're dumb. Excellent. This potion is perfect. I will haggle with you, ma'am. Local sorceress. What kind of sorceress doesn't make her own potions? Every. Every sorceress dabbles in potion making in an RPG because they complement each other. Hello, Julia. Welcome. <laughs> Can you guys believe in only um only two days we'll be in the middle of horror month? Woo! I think we're done for the day. There's nothing else to do, so let's go ahead and go to take a nap. <laughs> All right, let's go in our garden. Empty that. Oh, mushrooms. Not a ton of ingredients today. It's a wizard. Hello! I see you recently opened. I'm also an alchemist, but I'm just passing through town to collect some ingredients and selling alchemy equipment. So sun sun is dropping running lights right now, but I only have an enchanted paper with me. It expand my spook, you can buy a couple of sheets. Enchanted paper? The sheets in the recipe book are made of a special enchanted paper. The enchantment slows down the paper's aging and allows you to edit existing recipes. If you can erase an old recipe and write a new one instead. In addition, sheets of enchanted paper can be clearly bound to the recipe book, allowing you to expand it almost indefinitely. Um, sure. I will haggle you down, sir. It sounds like regular paper, but you just want to charge me a lot more for it. You are just like ink cartridge people. No, you can't refill your ink cartridges. We're not going to make as much money that way. You can't do that. Uh. I'll pay you, sir. How many more recipes could I have to... Shroom or base to stir. Uh, 
I need to not save. Strong potion of healing, potion of frost. I can get to that again. Weak potion of fire. I need to only save the strong potions. No, the, no weak potions. Okay, let's see. Greetings! I had a brilliant idea uh, yesterday to brew beer that warms your bones even on the coldest days. People would pay a pretty penny for it in the northern provinces. Recipe is almost ready, but uh, for beer to always be warm, you need something like liquid fire. Do you anything like that? What else do you add to your beer? Actually, the recipe for my beer is a big secret. All I can say is add five types of fiery pepper to this one. Hmm. We need fire. Well, sir, let's try to get you fire. Okay, we'll add two of our fire bells. Anything else that goes up? about all that. Why doesn't he just warm up the beer? But I, I, I guess it's to sell to people that so it's always warm. That's the gimmick. Well, I don't have a better ingredient to get over there, but I can just keep using these. I guess. <laughs> Something... I could use one more. Water it down a little bit. No, that's all I'm gonna get. Damn. Oh well. This game worth buying only if you like having fun. If fun's not your thing, then I would pass on this one. It's too much of it. All right. How about some fire potion? With lots and lots of ingredients because inefficiency. Hello, ma'am. My son was playing with friends in the forest, and now he can't stop typing Dan Friend in chat. Uh, please help heal my little boy's leg. Okay, I'll help you with a healing potion, ma'am. Well. So first, we do the green mushroom and grind it up. And then we do this baby. Oops. There, like that. Ah, it's so close. Well, I do have a potion for you. I got a haggle again. Hag haggle minigame is a little repetitive. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, children who wander in the forest to play with the in the by the lake have started gone missing as of late. The villagers are certain it's a merman. I've been asked to deal with the beast. I need to reinforce my sword to defeat the scum. I heard fiercemen flee at the sound of thunder. How about lightning? Yeah? You want some lightning? Alright. Lightning is very, very exciting. Galileo. Oops. Ok. 
Okay. Beautiful. No, hi, need any herbs? Yes. I need some... Herbs. That tangleweed is so awkwardly shaped, but I will hold off for now. Who else do you sell herbs to? A lot of people need herbs in town. Some use them as seasoning, others for medicinal purposes. The brewer is often smoking them in the back of his bakery every day. Mm, thank you. Hi there. I was heading to my unit's rendezvous point when I saw your shop. Thought I'd stop in and buy a potion for our battle mage. He's been complaining recently his magical powers have waned. I heard there's a potion that helps mages to recover. Do you have one? Yes, I have a mana potion. <laughs> Thank you. A massive anthill appeared near my house, and now the ants are everywhere. On the floor, on the walls, on the ceiling. Even in the food, it was unbearable. I need something to get rid of those annoying bugs and fast. How about a potion of poison? Yeah, a little bit of poison never hurt anybody. Well, actually, kind of did, but we'll pretend it didn't. Because I need to sell a potion! Uh, be a friend and give me a healing remedy from the stronger side. Some guys and I were escorting a trade care yesterday, then we got attacked by bandits. I was stabbed with a knife and fell out of the, on the car on the road. I'm lucky to be alive. I need to recover and catch up with the caravan. Are you bleeding on my floor, sir? Just... The man's bleeding on my floor. Strong potion of healing. There you go, sir. I'll haggle for a little bit more money. Thank you. <laughs> Next day. I wish I was the herb being crushed and made into a potion by Dan. Dan said. Right. We'll be right back after this short break. 